Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to episode 35 of Only by the Regens with Liverpool. So I've got a hell of a lot to recap before we go into the game against Barcelona, who we managed to draw in the uh, Champions League. First knockout round, which is a ridiculously hard draw for finishing top. But Barcelona unfortunately finished second and we our luck wasn't really there. So I think Dortmund, they are top their group. Let me just fucking scroll down, there we go. So Dortmund top their group, Barcelona finishing second, and we happened to draw Barcelona, uh, which is not so good. But as you can see there, if you've clocked the league table, we're doing fantastically. I'll, I'll do the schedule in a minute. Uh, a few transfers has, have happened. Um, let me just go on fee. If we do it again, there we go. Emre Chan has gone to Ace Milan for 18 million. Now, I did want to, want to get more money for him, but Ace Milan were the only team who wanted him, really, and that's the maximum they wanted to pay so we had to let him go he was unhappy he was affecting squad morale so we we really had to get him, let him go same with Sturridge unfortunately he was not happy with the amount of game time he was having so we had to let him go 29 though 12.5 million probably could have got a little bit more for him um, but again it, he was on 170 grand a week and Arsenal was the only team willing to pay that for him and it didn't want to disrupt our um, morale our team morale because we're flying at the moment seriously i think we've been unbeaten since real madrid in the last episode which i'm really really happy about a few a few wins though uh, gustavo gonzalez he's uh, from paraguay uh, he's currently getting shooted from skirtle to give him that resolute personality and he's actually already got it which is fantastic skirtle's a tank and he's got the good potential so hopefully he can be a good center back in the future we've got joseph guay uh, he's from senegal and uh, he looks okay, he's uh, three and a half star potential, which is not too bad at all. Uh, Jonathan Ledesma, uh, this guy uh, was on my shortlist and he popped up saying his contract was going to expire. So I offered him a cheeky deal and he accepted it and he's actually worth 7.25 million. He's currently on loan in France um, at the moment, but you know his current ability is pretty shocking for a 20 year old, but he's still got that potential. Uh, so we may be look to get a a massive profit on him signing him on a free. Lastly is Martin Svevsic. Uh he's che he's from Czech Republic I think and he's on loan at Valladolid in Spain and his potential is good as well so I'm happy with that. Squad wise before we go on schedule um, let me go on average rating because so I'm really really happy with Lorenzini you know he's quickly becoming one of my most favorite regens ever in football manager and I've been playing it for about 12 years well since championship manager since that was early 2000s it's absolutely i'm absolutely ecstatic at how good he is at 20 he's world class as you may know from the last episode i think he's world class but his average rating 7.99 in the league eight overall it's just amazing and then we've got sterling who's world class um got coutinho who's world class we, we've got Markovic, who's almost world class. He's injured, though. He's been injured a lot this season. And then we've got Sasha Ball, who's just... Yeah, he's 18, and he's a, a regular in the German national team. He's, he just keeps on improving. And his form recently has just been... He's world class as well. And his form recently has just been absolutely insane. Like, 35 goals in 41 games. I said in the last episode, I hoped he got... 30 for the whole season, but currently he can get 30 in the league easily. So he's just insane. He really, really is. So our midfield is like full of, I mean, Henderson's world class as well. So our, our midfield is just full of world class players. So we're just dominating games at the moment. It's so fun. So after we left you at West Brom, um, after that one, we played Blackburn. Uh, Lorenzini and Igor getting the goals in a 2 0 win there. We played Chelsea at home, beat them 1 0. Um, Sasha Ball with the only goal there. It was quite a boring game. It kind of fizzled out. But I'm happy to get the win rather than the uh, the draw. We then played Wolfsburg to uh, guarantee our top position in the group. Beat them 2-0. Uh, then played Middlesbrough. Beat them 2-0 as well. Uh, Sasha Ball and Markovic getting the goals. Then played Arsenal in the Caps the one cup quarter final and beat them 7-2. I mean, what the fuck? Markovic getting two. Sasha Ball with a hat-trick. Lorenzini and Henderson. Just sensational. Really, really is. So happy with this team. Uh, QPR beat them 2-0 as well. Uh, Sasha Ball and Lorenzini. Uh, Drew of Newcastle, who still happened to be unbeaten at this stage. Uh, so, the, you know, they had nice morale going for their team. So, I, I, you know, 1-1, I'll take that. I'm happy with that one. It's better than losing, isn't it? 
And we're on like a 20 game unbeaten run at the moment. Beat Swansea 6-0, see so all the goal scorers there, Sterling with a hat-trick. Uh, beat Burnley 3-2, uh, Markovic, Sacco, Lorenzini. We then drew Wolves in the FA Cup third round, disappointingly drew 1-1 with them. At this stage I was thinking, oh we're going to go through that typical end of December, January form, a bit of dip in form, but um, it didn't happen really. We had Man U next and they were unbeaten at this stage. There were 29 games unbeaten I think in the league which is quite incredible, and we hammered them 5-0. I was, It was unbelievable, because uh, it was such a good performance, and I wasn't expecting it after that Wolves game, that it was really, really happy. Lorenzini, Sasha Ball, getting to Sterling, and a daily blind own goal. I rounded that one off. We then beat Wolves 3-1 on the return leg of the FA Cup, or the replay. Uh, we drew 1-1 with uh, Fulham. They did score a weldy right from kick-off from when we scored. So a uh, bit of a disappointing draw there. We drew QPR in the Capital One Cup semi-final first leg, beat them 1-0, Sterling with the goal. We drew uh, Birmingham in the FA Cup fourth round, beat them 6-0. We then beat QPR in the return leg of the semi-final 2-1, Sasha Ball and Sterling. So we're through to the final of the Capital One Cup again, which is just sensational really. I think we've won it the last three or four years. I don't know, it's 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 getting there, which is beautiful. Origi actually scored against us, um, but we beat them 3-1 anyway, Sterling and Sasha Ball getting two. Uh, we beat Southampton 2-0, Sasha Ball and Lorenzini, and probably one of my most favourite games recently, beat Aston Villa 5-1. And Sasha Ball got four goals in the first 35 minutes. So I was really, really happy with that. Really happy with that. Then we played Norwich, beat them 3-2. Coutinho got two, Sasha Ball got one. And then we played Everton in the FA Cup fifth round, beat them 3-0. Could have been a lot more. Joe Allen got sent off after 26 minutes, and we absolutely dominated them. So we're going to go in the game against Barcelona. And Barcelona are currently top of La Liga. Uh, the squad is, as you'd expect, still insane. Dennis Suarez, though, a bit of a surprise. He used to play for City, didn't he? he, was in, he uh, yeah, he was in City's youth for a bit. But, oh my God. If you can sign this player at some point in your save, do it because he looks insane. Absolutely insane. So you've got two Suarez's who look absolutely incredible. Uh, they've still got uh, Neymar, Messi... They signed Strootman, Lacazette, Mangala, uh, Shakiri, Alexandra, and a few other players. They got Gert Hart as well. I think he's a young. I think he's a wonder kid, isn't he? Yeah, Cologne. Interesting stuff. So hopefully we can play well here. We are away at the new camp. Uh, we have got a few injuries. Uh, Flanagan suspended, as you'd expect. Uh, Saz suspended. And Markovic is injured. I don't know how long he's out for. Uh, Twelve to, twelve days to two weeks. Not too bad. So we're going to go into this game and kind of hope for a draw. I'd take a draw, you know. Yeah, I'd happily take a draw saying that. Um, we'll give them number 23. This guy was on loan from... Um, I think he was on loan in Brazil. And we uh, got him back because the season ended in December. So he's going to replace Emre Chan as kind of like the little backup player for the uh, CDM. Um the, yeah, the defensive mid spot and the uh, central midfield kind of thing. So we're going to go with the advice there. Probably going to mark Suarez a little bit tighter than not. And if they switch the wingers, we'll obviously adjust it accordingly. Uh, we'll need to slow this down real quick. Put goals on. And ho let's hope we can get a decent result here. Lorenzini, is that onside? I think he is. Oh my days, what a start. Coutinho... <laughs> To Lorenzini, and uh, you know what? I said, didn't I? Lorenzini's amazing. And look at that volley. He's so good. Hopefully, Barcelona don't reply instantly here. That's a poor ball by Henderson. Sterling. Lorenzini. Come on, Sacco. Let's get the second. We've got one away goal, which I'm happy with anyway. If we can defend well. I'll take this ball. Uh, I got a bit... Got sounded out there. Suarez is through, and you can't give Suarez that much space because Louis will destroy you, unfortunately. And he scored, I think that's the second time he scored against us. He scored that weldy of a free kick the first time we uh, met Barcelona a couple of seasons back, and he scored again, again against us. Oh, fuck's sake. But hopefully, we can get the second goal. Lorenzini, Coutinho, Lorenzini, ball! Oh, ball! In his form, you'd kind of expect him to score that. Big chance. Go on, close down Alba. 
Oh god, Suarez is through again. Oh my god, he scored again. He's offside, is he? Yes! Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. It's been a very even game at the moment. So we go in half time 1 1, and I will take this at the moment. I really will. We're going to apply advice again. Uh, we're going to encourage the team. You know me, I never go defensive. Uh, I always try and win every game depending on where you are. So uh, it doesn't really matter for me. Uh, we're going to tell them to concentrate as well, though, because Wisdom looks like he's about to shit himself. Unfortunately, no one wants to see that. Henderson, Booba, Booba. Oh, he gets tackled. Wisdom! Sterling! Oh, he's offside! Fuck! Uh, we will tell him to concentrate now, shall we? Yeah, we'll concentrate. Hopefully they don't score. Neymar! Oh, that's a big miss by Neymar. Oh my god. Oh, that's a poor kick by Gene. Come on, Henderson. Coutinho. Lorenzini. Oh. 19 passing, but he gave the ball away there. They're playing it around nicely. Barch is quite high up. Surprisingly, come on, give the ball away. Saka win that. Oh, we have three people. We have four people claiming that one ball. Then, wisdom, good tackle, man. Come on, they're getting closer to the goal though. No, no. Ah, oh, the parry. Fuck the parry. Seriously. Oh god. Yeah. Okay. Um. Still think we can get the second goal. Oh, it just falls perfectly to Messi there, and he's not going to save that one. Really frustrating. Oh god, are they going to get the third? Hopefully not, because that could see us out of the Champions League if they do. Strootman. Oh, we caught this one. Fine. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? What first thing we're going to do is start closing down Messi and um, Neymar as much. And do that. Then we are going to... I'm debating whether to push up Arasso and kind of change it a little bit. You know what? <sighs> Shall I do that? Yeah, they're not playing a calm, so we'll we'll do that. And we'll put it on central midfield defend. We'll put advanced playmaker support. We'll drop Coutinho. Put Henderson for Arasso, Coutinho in there. And then um, we'll kind of swap them two around there. Bring on Diana, who's got a bit of pace. And we'll put Sterling on the inside forward roll. And we'll give him a team talk. And hopefully this will have a positive effect on the team. We're going to tell him to push forward as well. Because if we can get two away goals, then that'll be fine. Oh god, Gene. Making a big save there. Barcelona's definitely playing better in the second half. Can we actually do a fucking team talk? Oh my god, we got a penalty! Oh, Sasha Ball. Please, man. Please, I've bigged you up so much. Yes! And he scores the 18-year-old. He's already world-class. Oh, my God. What, what a guy. Look at that great finish. I'm now contemplating whether to drop a bit deeper. Let's just see. Henderson. Sasha Ball could be through again. He could get crowded out by PK, and he did. Uh, Sacco, to Villa, Lorenzini, to Diana, to Coutinho, to Sterling, to Sterling, Sterling, ball, someone put it in, oh my god, big chance, Henderson, Coutinho, Wisdom, Henderson, Lorenzini, Diana, oh, Barcelona defending well here, Henderson, Sacco, do not, why are you losing the ball there, Sacco, what are you doing, Villa, good tackle, ball, it's end to end, Messi, Suarez, Strootman, fuck! Oh, God. Too clinical, man. They really are. These Spanish teams are just too clinical. We got their two away goals. I mean, we're going to be looking solid for the uh, for the second leg, unless we concede another one here, but please don't concede a corner. Henderson, clear it. Come on. Crowd, Messi. Neymar. Messi. Oh, my God. It's a big miss. We definitely become more open pushing the CDM forward, uh, but we, you know, I'm happy with our performance so far. Coutinho, Sterling, Sterling, Lorenzini. Can we get a late goal? Buba, Diana. Oh my God, they're defending so good. 
Neymar now, they can break. Oh, Sacco, you fucking watermelon. What are you doing? Oh, you fucking plum. <laughs> so frustrating. Okay, 4-2. So this is going to be an interesting second leg, seeing as we are, we are two goals down now. But saying that, it's been a really, really good game, this one. Uh, a first real challenge in a, in a while. And uh, unfortunately, we've come off worse. But Barcelona on the day played very well. We still managed to help. Uh, we had more of the ball. But, uh, you know, a few dodgy penalties for both sides, actually. And it's just so, so clinical. So, so clinical. Uh, maybe it was a bad idea pushing that CDM forward. Oh, well, we can't really do anything about that now. We're just going to have to play the second leg, and I hope we play a lot better at Anfield. And uh, we'll have to score a fair amount of goals, to be fair. So Man United won. Um, it would be disappointed if we did, in fact, go out at this stage of the Champions League. But it's going to be a good game at Anfield, no matter what. Uh, so actually, I'll come back for that game, you know. I'm just going to have to pause the recording. Shit, what am I doing with this little thing here? I'm going to have to pause the recording, play a few games, and then come back for the Barcelona game. So I'll see you then. Okay, so we're ready to play the last 16 second leg against Barcelona. Hopefully we can play better than we did in the first leg. Uh, I did say they were clinical, but they weren't really, were they? Let's be honest, uh, they had 12 shots on target, and they had a, a fair amount of clear good chances. But I'm, I'm thinking, you know, we've got a good chance of going through at home. We play really well at home. Uh, but since that game, we have beat Spurs 4-0. Uh, a nice 4-0 four, four victory over Spurs. We absolutely battered them. Two goals for Diana, two goals for Sasha Ball. And he just keeps on scoring. I think he's scored in every single game since then, you know. Um, we beat Stoke 3-1. Sasha Ball, Coutinho and a, and a short cross own goal. Uh, beat City in the Capital One Cup final. Sasha Ball and Sterling getting the goals there. Played really well. And we have won that, I think, the last four times. So it's kind of our cup now. Uh, we beat Blackburn 5-0 in the league. Sasha Ball getting a hat-trick. So let me just show you what he's on now. Uh, history, 29 in 29, and he's got 44 in 47 in the league. Absolutely incredible for an 18-year-old. Have you ever seen anything like it? It's just ridiculous. We did lose uh, to United in the FA Cup uh, sixth round, so it's quarter-final. And uh, we didn't play very well, to be honest. It was quite a tight game uh, until they got that Ferreira goal, and we had to go overload, and then they had a fair amount of chances. So that's a bit unfortunate, but I'm not too bothered. I mean, quarterfinal of the FA Cup, it's not too bad to go away, to go out away to Man U. Uh, but yeah, we've got a very, very strong team. Um, so we got literally, I'd say, my first team. I'm going to drop Henderson because Saar's looking incredible at the moment. Um, he's got that, look at that, look at that pace and the uh, the physicals, the technicals, the mentals. He's, he's coming along nicely at the moment. So he's going to start... Uh, we have had our youth intake this year, just happened well, a few, about a week ago in game. So we've got Paul Tyson, so we've got an, another good keeper coming through. Again, his reflexes are pretty good. He's not so good pace-wise, because uh, he's sweeper keeper, but, uh, well, because I'm going to be playing sweeper keeper, but hopefully that'll uh, change in the future. Uh, we also got in uh, Duffy, who's injured apparently. Uh, he looks okay. He's got 19 dribbling, which is nice. Um, we got uh, a payer as well, who's uh, a right back. He's not, he's quite slow, so we probably won't use him. But that, yeah, that's that's that really. Uh, the league table, I don't think I showed you it last. Uh, well, before I paused the video, really. But we are flying at the moment. Uh, United have three games in hand, so it means they can catch up a little bit. We've got a tough, tough uh, few fixtures coming up, but we are comfortable at the moment. Uh, we obviously we got City, Everton, and Chelsea, and then Arsenal. So we've got fucking tough games coming up there. But everything's looking fine. Hopefully we can we can get the goals needed to beat Barcelona today. We do need two. We can win 2-0 and go through. Or, or we can score as many as we can. Hopefully it's the second one. But we're going to go into the game. And uh, let's hope... I've got faith. I've got faith we can do this. We can, we can do this. Um, I am going to ignore what he says though. Express, yeah, expect nothing less than a win. And let's go. Oh, come on. I don't want to get knocked out in the uh, first round. For a club of our uh, stature and how we're performing in the league from season to season now, we should be uh, pushing on now and reaching the quarters or well, the semi-finals on a regular basis. 
But it's Coutinho going on a little jog. Coutinho. Coutinho, Sterling. Sterling! Oh, what a start. A magical goal by Sterling there. And it's perfect. 16 minutes gone. Uh, we're winning. Uh, but then again, we took the lead through Lorenzini in the uh, first leg. So I'm not going to hold my breath yet. If we can get that second goal, that'll be perfect. We don't want to concede, though. Buba, come on. Lorenzini, tackle him. Montoya. Rakitic. Oh, it's that Gerhard guy. It's Ball. Markovic. To Ball. To Flanagan. Come on, Flanagan. To Saar. Lorenzini. Sterling again. Sterling! I don't know if that's a deflection. It's an own goal. It's Mangala. We're winning 2-0. And this is the start we wanted. It's perfect. I knew we'd play so much better at home. I don't know if it's the away the away uh, formations not as good against the big teams, but our home one is fine. We just need to stop Barcelona from uh, from scoring. Really, I mean, as, as you can see, it's so much better. We play so much better at Anfield. It's unbelievable. We need our third goal, though. We really do. Coutinho, Markovic. We're, we're, as it stands, we're through at the moment. Um, but uh, a fire goal would be nice. I thought he was going to get sent off then. But yellow yeah, card's okay. Coutinho, Villa. Oh, he just gets tackled. Come on, Villa again. Sa, Markovic. Played the ball, maybe. Oh, with Sandro, who just got ball, gives away a penalty. And that's got to be a red card, hasn't it? He hasn't been, get, he hasn't been sent off. Ball! Ball! Makes it 3 0. And we are awesome at home. I am loving this. Sasha Ball. Incredible scenes. But hopefully... Oh, Charlie Boober, don't get sent off, you peanut. Oh, you absolute peanut. Right, we're going to have to... Uh, we haven't got a let... Oh, we can put... Sorry guys, I just had to take a phone call, unfortunate timing really, but Boob is left me in a right pickle here, he really has. Um, the only thing I can think of doing is with Markovic being on 73%, it's obviously putting Markovic, uh, Flanagan over there, Mark, drop Markovic down there, put Coutinho over there, and uh, swap the two, and then obviously bring on Wisdom for Markovic. Now, do we go counter? Do we go a bit more defensive? Is that wise against uh, Barcelona, or should we see how this goes? Oh, God, they're not even playing Messi, you know. They rested Messi and Neymar um, because they were too confident. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with this, you know. I'm gonna go for it. Oh my God, they only had two shots. Wow. Right. Hopefully, you know, I'll be gutted if this backfires because of Booba. We were Sterling though; he's going on a little bit of a jog. Cross it into Lorenzini. Lorenzini. Oh, he was skipping his way through. Just couldn't find it. Right, Coutinho. To Saar. To Sterling. We're still creating chances even with 10 men. Wisdom. Sterling. Oh, to Stegen with the save. We battered Barcelona here. Sacco. Saar. Lorenzini. Sterling. Oh, Mangala with the tackle. Now, Barcelona do have to score two goals. So, one goal isn't enough for them. But if they were to score now, it would be disappointing. And they did score now. Oh my god, it's Suarez. And it's on the 60th minute. Oh, Jesus. So it's 5-5 on Anchorit, but we scored the two away goals. Now, that was only a half chance. That's, they've only created one half chance in the game. We're going to go counter, you know. Um, we are going to have to go counter here. I don't usually like changing it, but... In this circumstance, we're going to have to and hope it. we hang on, really. We're going to drop a little bit deeper, and we're going to slow the play down. And we're going to tell the team to concentrate. Because, you know, they should have had a man sent off with Alexandro, because he was already on a booking when he um, when he gave away that penalty. Flanagan! Ball! Yes! Sasha Ball! Oh my god, 46 crawl of the season. He is such a fucking tank. Flanagan there. And it is a parry, but I'll take that because we are winning Barcelona now. 4 1. And this is great stuff. Right, concentrate. We do not want to give another another goal away here. Gene's got the ball though. Still 22 shots to 5. So good at home. Ball is going to win that all day. Lorenzini, Coutinho, to Sa, to Lorenzini. 
out to Flanagan, who's now playing on the left, of course. Flanagan, oh my god, Flanagan thinks he's uh, Ronaldinho all of a sudden. They're bringing on, oh, they're making, bring, changing the subs, I mean, changing the fullbacks even. Sterling, it's Coutinho, Lorenzini, Lorenzini again, still got the ball, Sacco, Sacco, Flanagan. Ah, oh, it comes to nothing. Um, I think we may bring off Sterling. Just a bit more pace with Diana uh, towards the end here. And it looks like we could be going through, you know. Oh, off the line by Lorenzini. Oh my god. Diana, though, look at that pace. Coutinho, we hit them on the break. Can we get a fifth, maybe? Ball. Ball. Oh, Sasha Ball with his little skill run. We've had 10 men for pretty much the whole of the second half. I'm really pleased with this performance. Sa, clear it. To Sacco. Coutinho. Play ball in. Ball. Look at him. Look at him go. To Diana. Wisdom. Ah, oh, it's poor from Wisdom. It's absolutely shocking. They've only they had a few half chances. They brought on Neymar now. I'm not sure if Messi's on the pitch. Um, I, I'm not too sure. But we're defending fine here. And it's, there's only seconds remaining. Here's Ball again. Ball. Look at him go. Look at him run. Oh, he gets taken out by PK. Lorenzini. Coutinho. It's got to be over now. Blow up ref. Ref. Yes, there we go. We are through to the quarterfinal. And what a second leg. You see, I knew we'd play better at home. S even with 10 men, we were so, so good. I'm really happy with that. And Sasha Ball got another two goals for the season. Oh my god. I think it's, did it say he's on 47 for the for the season? 46 in 48. Oh my god. He's incredible. He has really stepped up this uh, second half of the season. And he, I, he's got to be one of the best strikers on the game at the moment. Let me just search for strikers right now. And look at this guy, there's another guy I'm trying to sign, it's centre-back. I somehow missed him, he, he played for Anderlecht, um, but I missed him. But look how good he is. Oh my god, I'm going to try and sign him, to be fair, at the end of the season. Um, Striker-wise, so let's go on position. I uh, can play striker and filter, there we go. So Sasha Ball is currently the, yeah, he's the, the most valued striker at the age of 18. And obviously this guy is going to be a contender as well because he's insane. But oh my god, he is brilliant, isn't he? So we are actually through to the quarterfinal. And I don't know who we're going to face. Uh, who else got through? Oh, so it's going to be like a week until the next games. So I'll probably uh, be back in the next episode with the quarterfinal. At the moment, Leon are through. Uh, Arsenal are through. Chelsea are through. So the English team's doing very well here. Apart from my new getting knocked out there. But I don't really mind about them. Uh, Barcelona, Real Madrid are both out. Aleko beat Leon. Oh, uh, beat... Sorry, Leon are through. Did I say Leon or Marseille? Leon are through. And um, Marseille are out. Sampdoria are through. I mean, the leading, actually. My bad. But, um, yeah, so everything's going well at the moment. We've got that crazy fixture list coming up, though. But I will be back for the quarterfinal. Uh, maybe both legs, depending on how it goes. And I will see you then, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye-bye.